Καταρχήν, θέλω να σε ευχαριστήσω πάρα πολύ που είσαι μαζί μα σήμερα. Ε, πρέπει να σου πω ότι διαλέξαμε έναν πολύ θετικό άνθρωπο για να κάνουμε το ξεκίνημά μα ε, στην καινούργια ενότητα του Γκάζετα TV. Μάρκο Μπέρκ, λοιπόν, versus Χριστίνα. Α πάρουμε τα πράγματα από την αρχή για να μάθει ο κόσμο πόσο Μάρκο Μπέρκ ξεκίνησε να παίζει ποδόσφαιρο. Yeah, I started when I was, I think, around four years old. I have one older brother. Uh, he's, he played football and my father played football. So, uh, yeah, I think for me and my brother, we always joined our father to the trainings and this. And uh, so we start pretty early and we always played at home, you know, when we came home from, come home from school. And uh, also in school, we played a lot with uh, our friends and uh, But it was most of the time me and my brother together, always, you know, outside of the, on the on the yard or uh, on a football pitch. Always me and my brother together. So we start when we, yeah, I was four and he was five. So. Uh, no, actually not. I mean, it's. I think it's not everyone, but almost everyone. Kids' biggest dream is to become football player. If you ask the small kids what they want to be, is they want to be. Football player, I think, and it was the same for me. And I never had any other dreams than to play football. And yeah, so I'm living my dream, and I'm very happy of that. And I never had something else in my mind actually. Prior to this in Elada, is this is this in Nordia, is this is Germany? How so different is the life of Zoe's? It's big difference, but also not big difference. I mean, here you have uh, the nice weather, and uh, I mean. Yeah, the nature, everything here, it's it's really amazing and uh, it was something that I was longing for when I lived in the north part of Europe because there it's totally different. Uh, and uh, yeah, I like it a lot here. I think it's more opportunities to do things, you know, and uh, also for my family, they they love it here. So yeah, I'm from the north Europe, from Scandinavia, but I think Here it's uh, it's the place where I like it most. I think uh, if I could move my family and friends here, it would be perfect. But uh, it's the closest as perfect that it can be. Uh, I think to live here, so I love it. Έχει συνδυάσει την Ελλάδα, πέραν του ποδοσφαίρου και με τη βιοσημαντική μέρα της ζωής σου. Γιατί επέλεξες να παντρευτείς στην στην Ελλάδα; Well, first of all, because we live here and it was, uh, yeah. A lot of people also from Sweden, when they get married abroad, they go to Greece. And we said when we live here, we want to show our friends and family the place where we live. And it was a perfect uh, timing to do it with our wedding. So, yeah, we found a wonderful place to do it and uh, everyone enjoyed it. And me and my wife uh, enjoyed it the most, I think. It was amazing. So. It's also something that we always will uh, carry with us that we get married here and it's very it's special of course. Φαντάζομαι ότι και μετά την περσινή σεζόν επιτυχημένη για σένα, προτάσεις θα είχες αρκετές από την Ευρώπη. Τι ήταν αυτό που σε έκανε να μείνεις; No, I have a, I have a good life here and uh, I have a feeling that uh, our team can do much better and uh, Yeah, that's why I want to start. I mean, now we we're playing in Europe, and it's a good experience for everyone. And I think it's there where uh, Panathinaikos is gonna be. You know, they have to play Europe every year, and that's something I want to do to play in a top team and a good uh, good level, and uh, to play Europe football. And uh, yeah, that's I like it. You know, it's uh, it's really it's it's easy because it's a nice club, nice team. So I have nothing to complain about, and uh, I hope we can continue this year to make a better season than last year. Σε φοβίζεις σε αγχών καθόλου ο ρόλος και ο τίτλος του ηγέτη; Γιατί για τον Παναθηναϊκό και για τους φίλους Παναθηναϊκού είσαι ο ηγέτης της ομάδας. No, I think we have a lot of leaders. I mean, it's not only one. We have uh, a lot of. Uh, I think we have like five captains, you know, who share the role and. Uh, Also, everyone else uh, take responsibility, like you have to do, because we are a team and everyone is important and have to take uh, the responsible that they have to do. You know, it's not only up to one or five players; up to everyone to to put all the energy and the power they can do to the team. That's how we achieve things. And uh, of course, you have some players that maybe try to lead the group, but uh, I think we are more than just uh, one or five. I think it's. Yeah, it's a lot of players who have this uh, quality and uh, yeah, energy to do it. So I try to do my best and uh, to help the team and uh, yeah, 
first I look to myself what I can do and then uh, I try to be, I would say, an uh, example for the others also. Yeah, I don't know. Right now I don't have one, you know, that, uh, that I can say this is my favorite team. When I was younger, when I watched more football, of course I had more you know, fact, and I saw, watch a lot of football, so, but now it's, I like to see the good teams who play attractive football like Barca and, uh, and Real Madrid, these teams, so I cannot say, I'm happy when, when the teams win, you know, that play nice football, and I think uh, the teams who play nice football right now is Barca, Real, uh, Bayern Munich, it's uh, Dortmund, it's, uh, these teams I like, and I don't have one favorite team right now. No, that's uh, yeah, it's a really difficult <laughs> question. Uh, you cannot answer this because uh, right now I'm here and I'm very happy here. So uh, you know, the day or if the time comes, uh, you have to take a decision. But uh, right now I'm here and I'm very happy. So uh, we will see what happens in the future, but. Uh, yeah, you cannot answer uh, this question. Very diplomatic answer. Yeah, but it's it's like this. I mean, uh, cannot sit here and say that. Because uh, I also I don't. I'm as a person. I'm not like that. You know, to to look in the future that much. You know, of course you can dream and this, but uh, you cannot say in two years I want to be there. I mean, right now I'm injured and I do everything to come back on the pitch to play for Panathinaikos and. After that we will see. I will do my best here as long as I'm here and uh, I enjoy it, so... Yes, it's, uh, I think it's the worst, you know, when you, you cannot do anything and... Uh, but also this injury, I think it's, uh, it's not the biggest you can have, so I... I only try to focus and be positive and uh, try to do my work so I will be on the pitch again as soon as possible and uh, I see the team doing good, you know, so uh, of course it's difficult to watch them and uh, don't be a part of it, but uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's not the worst injury you can have, so uh, I hope it's going to be a fast recovery, so I'm soon back on the pitch, so... Yeah, that's life in sports, I think. I did it before, so I know the, I knew the feeling, and uh, yeah, of course, I was very disappointed and sad. But uh, like I said, it it could be worse, you know. So I try to I told told myself that I have to be positive and. Uh, to work hard, now I can work other things that I maybe didn't do a lot before, so I hope I will come back stronger and, uh, and better. I mean, it will take some time to start to train again and this, but uh, like I said, I train other things now that I didn't do before, so I hope it will give me something. I try to think like that, so I hope I will be better when I come back. How important is it for you that this period when you have a hard time yeah, I mean, uh, it's something that we will uh, discuss and uh, of course, I'm happy if it's going to be like that, but we will see what, uh, what's happened and uh, like I said, I, uh, I do my best every day and I hope, yeah, I think uh, maybe the club see it, you know, and... Uh, then we will see what happens, but uh, yeah, that's not my job also, it's up to the club and uh, my manager to do this and uh, like I said, I only focus uh, to do my best on the pitch and right now in the, in the gym, so <laughs> then we will see what happens. <laughs> yes, of course, like I said, I like it here and uh, we will see what comes out and uh, what will happen. It's not my, my focus right now, so it's more... Uh, up to the club and my agent, you know, to, to talk about this and then, uh, then we will see. But I, like I said, I'm very happy here, so we will see what happens. How characterizes the relationship with the Philathlons of Panathinaikou? Do you like it? For me, I, I love it, of course. I mean, 
like I said, I'm a professional football player and I, I always do my best and uh, maybe that's what they see. And uh, I think as a player, that's the only thing you can, uh, or a fan, that's the only thing you can uh, ask for the players is to, is to do 100%. I mean, everyone can have a bad day, but as long as you fight for the team and uh, for the club, uh, I think everyone appreciates you and that's, uh, that's what we have to continue to do. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's <laughs> I can't answer. You know if uh, if the fans uh, like it or not. But if they do, I'm happy also. Λένε ότι πίσω από έναν πετυχημένο άντρα υπάρχει μια σπουδαία γυναίκα. Και στην περίπτωσή σου υπάρχει η Ζωζεφίν. Yes. No. I think it's uh, it's uh, correct because uh, uh, I mean we spend so much time away from the families and this and uh, like in my case I have. Uh, we have two kids together and she have to yeah to take the biggest responsibility like this at home you know and also as a football player or a professional athlete you don't uh, only go to training and this you i think the, your whole life you have to live like a professional you know with uh, eating sleeping everything like that and in that case she give me a lot of uh, a lot of space you know to take my rest uh, to eat good and uh, yeah especially to give the rest you know and uh, there you sometimes you feel very bad as a as a husband and a father that uh, you want to do more but with all the traveling and games and trainings we have it's uh, it's difficult but i also i like i said on my free time i spend my time with them but uh, she's very understanding and give me a lot of time to recover good and this so it's i think it's very important to have a to have this uh, person next to you. Spitty. Who is ruling in your house? Uh, we say our daughter because she's really the boss. She's three years old and she she has, uh, how you say, very uh, tough temperament and this, you know, and I think she's really the boss. And now our son is becoming older and he seems to be the same, I think, with the how you say with these feelings and this and uh, otherwise we try to share it you know we have I think we like the same things and this so it's not uh, that one of us are the boss uh, it's really both of us I think uh, I think I'm very how you say like playful you know I love to play with the kids and uh, yeah do things with them you know and uh, Right now, my daughter is really, she loves animals, you know, uh, so I have to be a tiger or a wolf. <laughs> when I come home, she say, we talk in the phone maybe, and she say, you have to be a wolf, and then I have to go <laughs> come home like a wolf, like this. Uh, now it's very funny. I, I go down on all four, and I... And I hunt her, you know, I, I, and she runs and I run after her, and yeah, like this. Marcus, thank you very much. I hope you gave us a nice meal, gave us a good meal. I want you to look at the camera and to wish you a good meal in our city. Good meal in the Gazeta TV. Good meal in the Gazeta TV. Good meal in the Gazeta TV.